Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Pandemic Playgrounds and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a single V thrust or vector thrust ship. So uh, let's get started. Oh god, it's raining. It shouldn't be a problem. All right, I've got to turn off the weather, but uh, let's begin. So we would normally start off with a landing gear first. So we're going to be designing this from scratch and using a script that is not based off the normal vector thrust script that you guys are used to. So it's going to be a little bit different here. Um, since I got the landing gear this way, what I'm planning to do is actually put up a battery because you need the battery no matter what just to get the rotors not to fall. So we're going to start off like that and we are going to put rotors down. Now the rotors are a pain, I'm telling you now. What you need to do is basically find zero. So that's not zero, that's not zero, that's 360, this is zero. So this is top, and you can see like this says zero. So you need to have everything placed on zero as far as the rotors go, or stuff starts getting screwy. Now, because, hmm, let me see what I could do with this. Okay, you know what? I am going to design this in a way where it's kind of... Um, it looks okay, I guess. So first, these are going to be the uh, pitch rotors, okay? Yes, pitch to go forward and back. And then the road, roll rotors is what we're going to be putting in soon. So let me just kind of design um, a circle to fit our thruster. And you know what? Can I turn off weather from this? There you go. The rain is just starting to bother me. Okay. Let's put that block there. Let's put that block there. It's starting to look like a circle. Cool. Same goes for this. Now we could put our rotors here. This is where we will put our thrusters. Again, same idea. We're going to have we're going to need to make sure it has zero and that's zero. And same goes for this one. I believe yep that's zero as well and then now we can finish the other side of the thruster Okay, I'm not closing this off yet because we still need to make a surrounding. So what I'm planning to do was, let's see, can I fit that there? Yeah, I can. We're gonna mirror the round, uh, the roundness of this. Uh, yeah, that's a little weird. You know what? I'm going to put a cockpit here anyway. So I want it to be like perfect in the middle over here. So I'm just trying to it up in a way okay there we go oh you know what rotor displacement Let me put negative five for now. There we go. I need to put a rotor here, so six. I gotta get rid of this thing. So we're just basically going around just to kind of make it look like some sort of good detail. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, that's the same thing. So let me just bring this around. Yeah, that's not going to work because I'll do the rotor displacement again. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we have it. Um, I could get rid of these blocks and I'll figure this out later. Actually, I can fit it now. Oh no, it can't. Okay. I'll worry about that a little bit later, but we could probably just close this up like so and put stuff on top of there. So for now, we basically have everything we need, but I do need to put the rotor heads. So uh, place the rotor head here and attach that. Also for this, I have to do rotor displacement, set that to like negative five. I think that should work. And then we're gonna put a thruster here. Oh, perfect. And then we're also gonna now do the rotor head again and attach that all right there we have it okay so you have to name them very specific now because these will turn counterclockwise to move forward like tilt forward and this would turn counterclockwise to tilt left or right these are considered inverted rotors and these are considered the regular rotors okay so with that in mind we basically have to name these rotors. This is rotor pitch inverted INV. Okay, so this would be rotor uh, roll inverted. Rotor pitch. and rotor roll right because this one was the inverted one okay so now that we have everything named we will still need a gyroscope so let's slap in a gyroscope in here and also a programming block and before we put the programming in we still have to set up a little bit of settings so for the rotor pitch uh, let me double check zero yep this one's already wrong you see this because it says 90 and I forgot to check so we're gonna have to get rid of this and redo this rotor I saw that because right once I went into settings, it was on the wrong angle. And we got to make sure that that's going to say zero. And now we're going to attach this and name this one called, whoops, rotor pitch because the other one is inverted all right so let me double check everything this one's on zero this one's on zero 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 okay so now um we go into the programming block edit browse script single vtol which i'll upload to a pandemic playground channel and make sure there's no errors Okay, so I, it ended up needing two gyroscopes to fix the position on this, and it's gotta be facing forward. The only way to know if it's facing forward is how the eyeball is facing this way. So you can see how this is dipped down, and that's facing forward, and uh, that's about it. I think we're ready to give this a test flight. So I'm gonna drop this down over here so we have switch lock on the landing gear. And there we have it, guys. It's a little slow to react. And honestly, we should put some rotor lock on it so it doesn't exceed. Like this one, I could burn my own blocks off by accident because it's exceeding. Let me see that. So you really want to be able... Ooh, I just crashed. Okay, that was a 
bad idea because I didn't see where I was going. <laughs> but yeah, you guys get the idea. That worked out very well while it was in flight. It does take a little bit to steer because there's only one motor. So it does take a while to react from one direction to the other. And I just ran into a wall without even noticing. So other than that, that is it guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.